Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Making use of available means during the Prophet's migrations. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, even if you do not help the Prophet, Allah helped him when the disbelievers drove him out. When the two of them were in the cave, he, Muhammad, said to his companion, Do not worry, Allah is with us. And Allah sent his calmness to him, aided him with forces invisible to you, and brought down the disbelievers' plan. Allah's plan is higher. Allah is almighty and wise. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. When contemplating the blessed migration of the Prophet, peace be upon him, one finds that there are many lessons and insights to learn. At the top of these lessons is to make use of available means, as this is a universal norm. The Almighty Allah has set a reason for everything and stated that making use of these available reasons is an act of worship. Our religion calls for searching for the reasons and for acting, not for negligence and laziness. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, If you all depend on Allah with due reliance, he would certainly give you provision, as he gives it to birds who go forth hungry in the morning and return with full belly at dusk. Therefore, our Prophet, peace be upon him, was keen to make use of all available means during his migration. He planned very attentively and very well for the migration to make it successful. However, at the same time, his full reliance was upon Allah. He, peace be upon him, was praying to Allah and asking his support for the success of his planning. Thus, the Prophet's migration gathered both the good reliance upon Allah and making use of all means. The timing of the migration was carefully chosen as our Prophet, peace be upon him, went to the house of Abu Bakr Siddiq. May Allah be pleased with him at a very hot time so that no one would see him. They both embarked on their journey at night. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, reported that rarely did the Prophet, peace be upon him, fail to visit Abu Bakr's house every day, either in the morning or in the evening. When the permission for migration to Medina was granted, all of a sudden the Prophet, peace be upon him, came to us at noon, and Abu Bakr was said, Certainly the Prophet, peace be upon him, has come for some urgent matter. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said to Abu Bakr, when the latter entered, let nobody stay in your home. Abu Bakr said, O oh Allah's Messenger, there are only my two daughters, namely Aisha and Asma, present. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I feel that I have been granted the permission for migration. Abu Bakr said, I will accompany you, O oh Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him. The Prophet said, You will accompany me. The planning of the Prophet, peace be upon him, was so careful that he, peace be upon him, took paths during his journey that were unknown for people and hired the expert persons to help and guide him. He entrusted for everyone a duty suitable for him. Ali ibn Abi Talib slept in the place of our Prophet, peace be upon him, to deceive the polytheists that the Prophet is sleeping in his bed. Also, the Prophet entrusted Ali ibn Abi Talib to return deposits to the due honors. Abdullah ibn Abu Bakr was entrusted with collecting information and news. Women played also a role in this migration. Asma bin to Abi Bakr used to carry food for the Prophet, peace be upon him, and her father. Amir ibn Fuhayra played an important role. He used to graze his sheep by day, then brought them at evening to the cave where Abu Bakr and Muhammad were hiding, so that the sheep would cover their foot traces. Also, Abdullah ibn Rayqut was the honest leader in the journey as he was an expert in the desert pass, though he was not a Muslim. 
All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. The planning of our Prophet, peace be upon him, for the migration was so careful. The Prophet completely relied upon Allah the Almighty, and at the same time he made use of all available means for him. When the Prophet and Abu Bakr were in the cave, Abu Bakr said, I said to the Prophet, peace be upon him, while I was in the cave, if any of them, the polytheists, should look under his feet, he would see us. He, peace be upon him, said, Abu, O Abu Bakr, what do you think of two persons, the third of whom is Allah? The Almighty Allah said, even if you do not help the Prophet, Allah helped him when the disbelievers drove him out. When the two of them were in the cave, he, Muhammad, said to his companion, do not worry, Allah is with us. And Allah sent him his calm down to him, aided him with forces invisible to you, and brought down the disbelievers' plan. Allah's plan is higher. Allah is almighty and wise. How much do we need to make use of all means in our entire lives? either in our study, work, planning, and production. And at the same time, we put our trust in Allah the Almighty as He is the creator of all means and the one who guides to success. O oh Allah, guide us to have our trust in You and protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the worlds.